you're uh, a person that's starting content or you're trying to figure out where you at or if you have 500 right now you're trying to hit to that thousand because i know how it is trying to be at 500 and you keep looking at your youtube studio every fucking day wondering uh, if this video did good and, or this just stop trying to worry about it i guess you know just keep trying to post what's up with y'all man oh I'm not gonna lie. Ah, <sighs> oh, man, bro. I don't even know what to say. Honestly, guys, this road to a thousand was. The shit was hard. I ain't gonna lie. The reason why I say the road to a thousand was hard is because I was really doing everything a lot on my own. Um, I'm in school right now. I'm in school and I make skits and i stream so i'm doing basically all of this by myself it was a long ass journey i created my account like three and a half years right during like to the pandemic now i didn't start dropping youtube until i came into college which is like three years now but what i want to tell y'all is um i didn't know nobody i didn't have no connections or i knew somebody to put me on or somebody that you know what i'm saying like I had a secret sauce or something like that. Really, I just really just um I started off on TikTok for real. I started off on TikTok doing skits. But I was doing like around like I was doing videos around sound. And I'm not gonna lie, bro, like the videos around sound is cool and all, but if you feel the, like if you see yourself going to another level, um I me personally, I don't think sounds you know doing you could be viral for a sound and you could grind that shit out all the way but sounds for me were just didn't work it just really didn't work sound and the caption didn't work for me it worked for some people i knew but it didn't work for me and maybe i just wasn't funny just showing that's not a way i was able to be able to express myself ex you know express how i wanted to create content express my true creativity but what i want to tell y'all though is the way how i was able to get to that 1k was at first i was dropping real consistent videos during college that's when i first started doing youtube i started in my dorm actually it was kind of crazy um i was just in my dorm just talking just talking about you know just not just in my dorm but i was in my dorm my first videos in the dorm and i was telling people about my my you know like yo this is my first youtube channel then i just kind of just started vlogging my youth my college experience around co like you know around college so i was just vlogging my college experience going to parties um meeting friends I was really recording just really my life. But then I think a shift, what content happened with me was when I started really um, thinking about what I really wanted to do with YouTube, like what I really wanted to do with content. I've been posting videos and I was realizing that there was something bigger that I wanted to, like I wanted to be able to create a community. We see a lot of these Twitch streamers, a lot of these YouTubers, they have a community. They kind of have like, you know, a fan base. And I don't want to really say people I want to call my fans, but I want to be able to have a community of like, I can make people's laugh. They can understand where I'm coming from or, or my, you know, my humor, you know, because I feel like that's the reason why I would do videos. Um, Growing up, I would want to, like, I used to talk and say funny stuff. People used to be like, oh, you should make YouTube, you should do YouTube and, or, you know. One of my friends, she always reminds me to this day, my friend Treasure, said that I said that one time in middle school, but I really don't remember saying I wanted to do YouTube until the shit actually happened. Like, until later on, you know, she reminded me, once I really started doing YouTube, she reminded me of what I said. I don't know where I'm going to be heading with YouTube. I just know that I'm going to create something big. I just don't know what it is yet. And YouTube is a trial and error. So if I was you, some people would blow up faster than others. I know a couple girls and them, they do videos, maybe do a U-Haul or something, they would go up crazy. For in my case, it wasn't like that, bro. And I'm only saying that right now, I'm, I'm still at a thousand subscribers, but other stuff has happened in the past. I'm not gonna lie, what changed the game for me was YouTube Shorts. YouTube Shorts changed the game for me, I'm not gonna lie. Like YouTube Shorts made me, help me go from like three or 400 subscribers to a thousand. It helped me in the journey because trying to balance school, life, streaming on Twitch. Make sure I go stream on Twitch. Streaming on Twitch and doing skits 
and then trying to edit a YouTube video, it, it was it played a lot, especially this year, a little bit last year too. It played a lot on me. It did a lot. Um, but I'm not gonna realize. I've definitely seen growth on my other platforms. My TikTok platform has definitely grown to almost over forty thousand followers. My Instagram account just hit ten thousand. You know, I want to be able to ex. I want to be able to think of ideas that's why i started my national get association if i didn't see that video i dropped it i um i'm now in the process of my creative process of trying to be able to make dope youtube videos or entertainment or entertaining videos you know what i'm saying i can only work with what i got like i said i don't have the, a big camera crew i don't have you know a lot of stuff you know so when I do ask people to, you know, help or help me with a video or something like that, you know, I took a lot of, did a lot of pulling, you know, and a lot of connections to be able to help me, you know, to be able to help me be able to do a video. You know what I'm saying? I had a lot of people take their time out their day to help me, even with my skits. This this camera just be dying. If you don't have two batteries or three, uh, GG, bro. Or if you're not charging every day, GG. I just hope, like, I'm not thinking about the subscribers and I just hope that my videos are good enough to be able to, I would just hope my videos are good enough to be able to branch out in front of people and be in, in front of the target, or not even the target audience, but be in front of an audience that will want to fuck with my videos and want to accept my videos, you know what I'm saying? I'm just being really authentic to y'all because I feel like I'm always in the work, work mode. Like I'm always in work mode, always trying to make a video, always trying to record, 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 but I don't sit here and talk to y'all about like, when I have little accomplishments, like out of all my accomplishments and stuff like that, you know, the YouTube one was kind of big for me for a thousand because like, you know, that after you hit a thousand, if you get your 4,000 watch hours, you can actually start getting monetized and getting paid for it, you know? And I know exactly that I love to do YouTube. I love to do content. I used to love, I love to do videos. So that was kind of big for me or whatever the case may be. But um, I just know that with YouTube, um, I have a, just a problem of trying to hit the just trying to, I guess, hit the homepage or hit the recommended or I guess pulling the views. And I think my highest amount of views I've seen on a YouTube video was maybe like 6K or 4K, you know? Um, I don't know where my YouTube, I don't know what it is. Like, I always have that hope and that feeling in my head and my heart that is like, I know video is going to hit. I just don't know when, but if I keep going at it, something should bound to happen. Like something's bound to happen. Right, and I don't just say that to say I'm just gonna keep post posts because, like I said, you, there's people out here who could post anything, or they could post something that you don't even think it's entertaining. And there's an audience of people; they got thousands of subscribers. So I am never the type to blame. I am not the type to blame the platform. I I can only say, damn, the platform's not really pushing or whatever. But I can only really say that I personally. I can only say really that me personally, I'm trying the best I can to be able to do the best content. I can be trying to produce the best content as I can. So when it does happen, that spark happens, it's not like, you know, I'm just, I was putting BS. Like if you put in BS content or something like that and it's not working, you know, at least you can't make excuses. But at least if you put in good content, it's just like, damn, bro, it just didn't hit. It's just a matter of time. So I have a lot of people, and I, what I would say, um, if y'all definitely start YouTube, or if you start doing content, in my case and be if you have a thousand subscribers, a hundred subscribers, if you just made an account, you got no subscribers, uh, I would just say, just make sure you know that if that's something you really want to do, just stick to it. Um, it's not really about the money. I've went a long time making content and not getting money from content, right? I made a long time, even on YouTube, I'm not monetized on YouTube. Who knows? Maybe in the, in the long term run, I will be monetizing YouTube soon. But as far as this YouTube, as far as that, as far as my YouTube channel now, I'm not monetized. I have a second channel where I post Twitch clips. That's at like 86 followers, subscribers. But what I want to tell y'all though is that YouTube, I realized doing content, there was a long time I wasn't making money and I had to really think about is this is something I really want to do or is this is something that I truly, you know, if I really want to keep doing it because it's like, bro, you're not making money from it, whatever kiss me, the views is not pulling. And so when a lot of that shit is happening, bro, there's so much odds going against you. You really think like, damn, bro, like, 
am I making a fool of myself? This is the right way. And I realized like, once you're not making, I feel like people always, I always hear, I always hear people say it's not about the money, but I always hear that from, I always hear that from niggas that make, that already make money from content. Of course, the fuck you gonna say, <laughs> of course you're gonna say oh it's not about the money bro whatever after you make all that bread because like nigga you you see the other side but i see like i feel like from a nigga from a position i'm in of not seeing that other side of that type of wealth or that money or whatever the case may be and still doing the content i feel like in my position right now you just got to make sure you just know that this is something you want to do you feel me and then eventually like when you stop thinking about the money eventually the money will come like you know eventually like what happened with me, I didn't, I kind of stopped thinking about money with TikTok. And then TikTok started going crazy. Instagram got rid of, they program. Stupid. But my Instagram was at four or 5,000 followers just 30 days ago. Now I'm at 10,000 followers, right? So I stopped thinking about, I guess, pulling the views or something like that. And then, you know, so I see myself what I can say is that I see myself when I'm thinking about something and I feel like I'm thinking about money or I'm thinking about a certain amount of views or a certain amount of followers and I'm kind of rushing it and I'm like I'm, I'm in that process of trying to rush it like I, I'm like I want this like I'm I'm waiting for it to come or like I'm itching for it to come and I'm thinking so hard that's when the shit is not happening for me but I feel like once eventually I stop thinking about what I want to come and just do what I want to do then stuff start happening. It may not happen as big as I wanted to, or I may not have as much success as I want to at the moment. But it's still, it's still an accomplishment as well. Like little, I make little accomplishments because I realize like how big my comp, like those little accomplishments will add up. Right? I have ten thousand followers right now on Instagram, but I didn't, it didn't feel like when I hit ten thousand. I don't know why, but I didn't feel happy as much. Like I felt happy, but it just didn't feel like. I made, I looked at my Instagram, I've made over 400 skits on Instagram to hit 10K. It was like, fuck, bro. It took me about 400 videos to hit 10,000 followers. So I could just imagine, and mind you, this is not no, a nigga putting you on, because I've been around that. But it, this is really just like, you know, like really just, <laughs> when niggas say, get out the mud, nigga, I'm getting out. That's really me getting out the mud for real, so. You know, and it hurts, like, when I be seeing people say, I'll be seeing you all the time on Instagram and Instagram. It's like, damn, bro. Like, I've had a person come to me in my face and tell me, bro, you should be at 50K on Instagram. So it makes me think, like, if I'm doing something wrong or I'm not putting out good content or maybe it's just, it's just not my time, right? It's just not my time. I just wanted to really come here and sit here and totally out it, you know, um, as far as for Insta, I'm not really talking about Instagram or all these other platforms. I could make a video for you if you want me to talk about Instagram and how, and also my TikTok on how that jumped, but... For as far as YouTube, uh, shit, I've done YouTube for about three years now, and I can really say, like, this shit was really on me. Like, even when I first started YouTube, I was by myself. Then during the run, I did videos with some people, friends. Some niggas kept it going. Some niggas stopped. Uh, but I just kept going, you know, and I'm still going now. And I and I play by my own pace right now, you know, and that's what I say. And I feel like one thing I say I wish I could be is more consistent on YouTube. I'm working on being more consistent as far as doing everything I'm doing right now and being consistent on YouTube because I know consistency um, and quality wins on YouTube. You know, so if I could get bangers and I could be consistent with the bangers each time and just keep being consistent, I know something will definitely hit. But as far as like, as far as me being, um, as far as YouTube alone though. Um, I know it's just me being consistent It's like something will soon hit But that's what I really wish for me for on YouTube Like it's just to be more consistent on it And um, I know eventually shit will happen It will work Because hey That's why I started doing content for real bro Right So This is my journey from hitting Going from zero to a thousand Right now we got a thousand right now Hopefully we can look back at this video And see with how many followers or subscribers we are at you know, it just hurts, you know, when the people just love my videos and I just don't have as much people seeing it, you know, and especially when people keep coming to me and say, hey, yo, bro, you, you underrated, you underrated, you underrated, you underrated, bro. Niggas don't know you. How huh? that's crazy. And I just be like, it's all right, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
eventually when niggas i guess find who I, who I am i guess when niggas find out who i am bro my videos will um my other videos will, i guess will pick up and people will see the other videos i have or something you know or just you know you don't ever know bro you know i actually started getting out of my shell of just even talking to people too so you don't ever know who you'll bump into and who that person made what that person could bring to the table or what they can do to change your life not saying they got to be necessarily somebody big in the industry or a big content creator or something but you never know bro you can be me somebody who got two thousand subscribers or twenty thousand and the next thing later they fucking jump and go to 100k like that you know what i'm saying like you just never know because shit like that happens to people you know what i'm saying once you catch a wave or once you do something original too especially if you do something original and it it, it catches mad people attention and they want you to do that shit again and again oh shit then you just build on that momentum so i feel like momentum is just something that i guess i'm waiting for because once you get that momentum or once i get a momentum of something that i know i got an idea that's like this shit is this shit is golden then i think that's when i have to really just be like that's the time to really go full on like i'm going full on now but i think once that momentum come because you can have momentum it happens all the time even with skits or something you can have momentum or you go viral and or you have something that goes viral and then niggas just slack and be like oh they think they made it i realize now one million views two million views on a video or a skit or something is nothing no more like there's so many like you may go viral on the internet but you know i think really viral viral where it's like damn this shit hit a lot of people is maybe like 10 mil and up you start make you hit one video that get like 10 mil or up like on a youtube video you know you hit 10 mil and up on a youtube video, like jideon or a couple of these pranksters or even like you know a lot of these other content creators or you know you hit them type of numbers on a video shit and then you just do it again and you you know rinse and repeat i think shit it work so i'm glad i'm glad to just be able to hear and sit here and talk to y'all because i know y'all probably wondering like yo when's the next video but i just want to be able to sit here and talk to y'all throughout my days but look i got more entertaining videos for y'all i got more um i'm not really a prankster bro but when i do prank i do be in my i be in that like i'll lock in in that mode but it's just rare it's if i feel like it honestly if i feel like it then i feel like it. if i don't then i'm just not gonna do it i mean i don't try to force myself to do shit but i hope y'all enjoy this video if you're uh, a person that's starting content or you're trying to figure out where you at or if you have 500 right now you're trying to hit to that thousand because i know how it is trying to be at 500 and you keep looking at your youtube studio every fucking day wondering if this video did good or this just stop trying to worry about it i guess you know just keep trying to post people say that's the cliche answer being consistent and that but i feel like it's personally being consistent and and making adjustments being consistent and making adjustments that's my advice making adjustments so if you see something is not really doing as much maybe don't be afraid to kind of switch it around and see something because if you keep doing the same thing all over and over again and you keep being doing posting the same thing and it's not working make an adjustment because you never know like doing the same thing all over and repeatedly doing the same thing or something like that and expecting different results is insanity right so that's why i would say like always you know try to switch it up or something like that and if you don't want to switch it up that's cool too because hey maybe no i honestly don't think i don't have the answers to the shit so i can't tell you or i can't i'm not a genius but that's just my personal opinion on how i think it is i just make adjustments and that's what happened with connor with my videos of tiktok and stuff <laughs> sounds and captions wasn't working for me nigga so i started talking in my videos and i started being i just started showing my real personality and acting out videos and you know i've i'm here in a little position i'm in i'm in the position I'm a little bit you know i've got a little success of where i'm at and the rest is history i can't make this shit up but with that being said i'm out here in the fucking um no not the fuck with that being said i'm out here in this um this this parking lot on this side street just talking i don't know something told me in my heart to just come on here and just talk to my camera today just just talk to the camera and just talk about my 1000 journey because i've never celebrated it and i'm realizing that like i hit a thousand subscribers and i never made a 1000 subscriber youtube video or just you know i was gonna i did it on stream on my twitch but i never i did it on my twitch but i think that video that vod is gone now so i said let me at least come on my youtube and just talk to the camera and just tell y'all about the journey so 
so hopefully i hope y'all enjoyed it with this vlog this is just me talking to y'all boys and i'm gonna catch y'all in another video make sure y'all subscribe because i'm not letting up